Hi, this is Udi Tirosh with DIYPhotography.net and today I'm going to show you how to save a bunch of space when you're upgrading Photoshop. So Photoshop is awesome and actually the entire Adobe suite is awesome and uh, they're doing their software very well, mostly. But one thing that they're not doing very well is upgrading. So a while ago I showed you how to save space when you're upgrading Lightroom and I'm going to link to that in the description below. And today I'm going to show you how to save some more space when you're upgrading Photoshop or essentially any other um, Adobe program. So first let me open Photoshop and show you a few things that happen uh, when you're using Photoshop. Okay, so here we go. When you're using Photoshop, Photoshop remembers a lot of things. They remember your brushes, your settings, um, the way you like to save your files, and these are all kept right here under Edit, uh, Preferences. There's a, there's a bunch of menus here. Let's look at Tools, for example. But Photoshop also saves a lot of data that it needs in order to run. And when you upgrade Photoshop to a new version, then those settings are being copied onto the new version, and basically you don't need the old version settings file. Apparently, those can take quite a bit of space. Let's see how Photoshop saves those files and how you can get rid of them. I'm gonna close Photoshop so I can access Photoshop files without Photoshop occupying those files. Um, so I'm gonna close Photoshop and I'm gonna access a folder that's called AppData. So that folder is uh, under my username and you can see that there is no folder called AppData here and this is because this is a hidden folder. So let me go over here and go click View, Hidden Items, and now I can see a folder that is called AppData. Another way to access AppData is to go to your Start menu and then click Percent, AppData, and Percent again. And that will open your AppData folder. Now inside here there are a bunch of programs. Let's look at a folder called Adobe. And in here, you'll see a lot of other folders. And the immediate suspects are folders called Adobe Photoshop something something. So we have Adobe Photoshop 2021, which is the current version, and Adobe Photoshop 2020, which is the previous version. But we also have the Photoshop from 2014 and 2018, and we even have here CS5. So this is definitely, definitely old, and I don't need that anymore. Let's look at, just, just for curiosity, let's see how much all these um, old settings folders occupy. So I'm looking at this, and this is almost a gig of data. I don't need this. I'm going to delete it. And bye-bye. And the same goes for Adobe Illustrator that I have here. And I definitely don't need uh, all the old settings. I'm just going to keep the last two versions, and I'm going to get rid of everything else folder. With some programs you have to go inside the program folder in order to find the version. So for example with Premiere, if I go into Premiere Pro I see versions 11, 12, 13 and so on so I can delete version 11 and 12. Photoshop alone was over 800 gigs and probably the rest of the files uh, accumulated to quite a nice savings as well. One word of warning, do not delete all the previous versions. Make sure you have at least the last version because sometimes Adobe uh, messes up and the last version is not stable and you want to go back. If you're using Mac, things are pretty much the same. You have to open the Finder app, go to the Go menu item, hold down the Option key to show the hidden options, and then you'll see the Library option, and inside that there's an Application Support folder which is basically the same as App Data for Windows. And this is how you save a bunch of space with Adobe Photoshop. If you have a friend that can enjoy the space saving, please share this video with them. Um, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, the other way. Hit all the buttons that you can see. This is Udi Tirosh with DIYphotography.net and I'll be seeing you in the next video.